I'm James Schaller, clinical musician and consultant. I train caregivers how to use therapeutic music, and I consult with healthcare facilities to create soundscapes that benefit patients and the staff. What if 100,000 years ago, our species learned to take two biological traits, say blinking and the release of dopamine, and then through technology, maybe simulated bright lights, we learned to stimulate blinking much more than we need to simply to keep our eyes lubricated. We could call this practice winking. Over thousands of generations, humanity would create a cult of pleasure across all cultures that would indulge in winking. Books would be written, religion would co-opt, genders would develop accepted norms for winking, and of course, there would be the disruptors. Well, that's one theory advanced about how the practice of music really had no specific biological need or trigger, but co-opted various parts of our brain that became stimulated in the process of making or listening to music. As humans, we found this pleasurable. The why and how of music even left Darwin scratching his head. To answer the question, can music heal the brain, we must first come to grips with the extraordinary complexity of the brain, which is really beyond our ability to com comprehend, and the many areas of the brain that respond to music. The dramatic ways in which music can affect the brain are best told by Dr. Oliver Sacks in his book, Musicophilia. There you'll read about many deep cognitive functions dramatically affected by music. Sometimes the patient became suddenly musical. Sometimes music brought peace and internal alignment. Other patients became driven to express their newfound mus musical talents or even musical madness. In another video, I'll discuss how music can benefit dementia patients. But for now, we can say, yes, music can powerfully affect the brain and possibly rearrange the furniture. As for healing, many music therapists use music to improve cognitive and physiological functions. We need to be more specific. Healing the brain would be like healing the galaxy, okay? Some parts will respond positively to a comet, a random asteroid, or a supernova. Other parts, maybe not so much. In my online course, The Healer's Visit, I teach how to use music to reduce pain and anxiety and work with dementia patients. So while music dramatically affects the brain, it's too early in our research to say that a particular type of music will cure or heal a specific area of the brain. Now I'd like to hear from you. Take a moment to recall your music memories. Have you had an experience with music that you found affected your thinking or feelings? What type of music helps you concentrate? Do you have a type of music that can help you forget unpleasant memories or feelings? Do you have a special song that triggers deep memories of people, places, or events? Please leave a comment here or at jameshawler.com under this episode and share with our community. Did you like this video? Then subscribe and share it with your friends. If you'd like more real deal practical resources about sound, music, and healing, then sign up for updates at jameshawler.com. In my emails, I often send specials like free music, tips on how to create healing environments, and referrals to essential resources for healing music and inspiration and how to rest and reset. I'll see you next time.